Hi everyone, this is Hiba from my little journal and today I'm going to be working in my traveler's notebook and I will be using the Paper Person Shop new kits that released February 2021. I love these kits. It's food themed and you guys know how much I love my food. So I'm going to be documenting two photos of a breakfast at my mom's. My mom makes the best Middle Eastern breakfast and if you are familiar with Middle Eastern food, we love our bread. So I'm going to be documenting these two photos and I will be covering up this side of my spread. I don't like raccoons. I know I'm never going to use this pattern. So I'm just going to cover it up with some of the pattern paper that came in the kit. Now the kit comes with 12 by 12 pattern paper. I tend to trim them down to four by eights because I know I will be using them in my four by eight. TNs, right? Or cover one side of my spread with them. So what I decided to do is go with this beautiful olive green. It reminds me of Middle Eastern colors and food. So I went with that, but it's really dark. So I decided I'm going to mute it down with this three by four home baking card. Because we eat a lot of bread, I thought I'm going to use the other three by four card to trim out the bread and create my own pattern for my spread. Now I recommend this all the time. Don't look at your cards like it has to be used as a card. If there's a cute icon or a sentiment or a word, trim it out, use it, make it your own. And I love that this three by four card had the beautiful bread on there. It was just so cute. And I felt like it would be a waste to just back up my photos with it because I really wanted to use the bread card. So trimming them out really helped everything pop and it just added some cuteness to my spread. I'm not gonna fill up my whole spread because I know I wanna add journaling, I wanna add a title and some stamping. So I leave it as is for now and I can always go back to that three by four card and fill out the empty spots once I'm done adding my title and journaling. So while I'm at it, I'm just gonna stick down one side and make sure everything's stuck down properly because I want to use the top portion of the side of my spread for my title. And I'm going to go through the stamp sets that were that released in February. And there's so many cute stamp sets, you guys. I can't even tell you. I love them all. And I use, I think, most of them. But anything I used in my video today, I will link it in the description box for you. But I start by stamping the paw with the wood board and the utensils and all that good stuff. And then I grab the new alphas. So pretty to stamp Menaish for breakfast. That is one of my favorites. It's like middle eastern pizza but we put za'atar on there and olive oil and it's so yummy and you get olives and all that good stuff so once i stamp that out i'm gonna go through the stamp sets to kind of add my own little thing now okay this is what i'm trying to say so when i stamped manaish for breakfast there was a little they were it, the breakfast was a little offish i left too much space between four and breakfast so i want to fix that to fix that, I grabbed another stamp that said made from scratch and I'm going to trim that out and add it to my title just to balance things out. Now it's not perfect, but that's okay. I always say this, it's just a layout and I want to focus on the photos more than anything. And I think actually it worked out pretty well. And later on in the video, I'll add one of those bread icons and add that as well. And it will kind of balance everything out. I'm using this stamp set to stamp organic with the fork. I adore that stamp. It's so cute. And I'll also stamp the dough um, with the roller and I'll fill out the roller in that same green to match the background. I'm just making this card my own and I'm loving all the stamps so I'm trying to stamp as much as possible. I'm also going to be using some of the labels to add my journaling. I really don't have a lot of journaling. This is just breakfast at mom's. So I just need a little label to add and I decided to add it between my two photos. It kind of breaks it down a little bit and it gives me a good amount of space to journal. I go ahead and start sticking things down while I'm thinking of what I want to do. This is something I do all the time. While I'm trying to decide if I want to add anything, if it's missing anything, I'll start sticking things down. And like right now, I decided, 
you know what, I need more bread on my spread so I can go ahead and trim out a few more, fill in those empty spots because I'm thinking I'm almost done with this. I really don't need to add anything because it's pretty busy and pretty colorful, right? So I'm just going through the little card and trimming out more bread to fill out those little empty spots. And I really love how the spread came together, you guys. It's just so cute. I just love food and I love food layouts. So they just make me so, so happy. Okay, now that I'm done doing that, I'm going to be filling out my stamp that is right above my title. So I'm gonna end up using my Archer and Olive Acryleograph pens, filling in out, not fully, just little tidbits, just to add a pop of color with the green and the yellow, and I'm trying to, well, it's not yellow, it's like a mustardy yellow. So I'm trying to match them with my bread and my pattern paper. I always recommend this if you don't have fillers for your stamps, definitely use markers to fill them out and that's a great way to add a pop of color to your spread. I'm also adding a border to my three by four card. I want it to pop and it just felt like it was floating there, if that made sense. So I used the same mustard yellow marker to add a little border to my three by four card. And once I'm done with that, I'm gonna grab my pen and add some journaling to my label and a few little lines around my bread. I really wanted the bread to look like it was in the air, like I threw it in the air kind of thing. So adding the little marks really made a difference. And because the green pattern paper is really dark, I'm gonna end up grabbing a white gel pen to add it to that pattern. I did fill out that empty space next to my title with another bread just to kind of make everything flow and fill out that empty space. This is where I grabbed my white gel pen to add lines to the pattern paper, so the leaves on the pattern paper, and also to the bread. And then I believe I call my layout done. Easy peasy, I love how it turned out. Don't forget, I will be linking everything down in the description box for you. I hope you enjoyed watching this video, and if you did, please give me a thumbs up. And if you are new to my channel, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you guys very soon. Bye.